Well, by now you've come along with your playing and you're learning your fingerboard and getting used to having the, the bass next to you. And uh, I thought it might be a great time to talk about uh, overall body energy. I think it's really important um, to maintain a sense of your, what your body is doing when you're playing your, the bass. As I said in the beginning, the bass is a very physical instrument. It's, it's, it's a large instrument no matter how big of a person you are, it's, it's kind of a daunting creature that you're trying to sort of manhandle. And so you want to you want to be aware of what's going on with your body as you try to get really good strong notes out of this bass. And so in order to do that, you just want to, you know, keep your mindset open about what's going on and remind you again to keep your, your feet sort of firmly like planted on the, on the floor about shoulder width apart. And then uh, you want to keep your back and, and your legs strong, you know, just sort of, but relaxed. You want to keep the shoulder coming out and your elbow uh, strong, but give it a soft edge. Don't tighten up. You want to keep the, the uh, wrist coming in at a really soft, soft angle. S you know, tightening up and strength are two different things. You don't want to tighten up your muscles and have them peak out so that you can't use them anymore. But at the same time, they don't need to be, um, you know, just sort of hanging there. You just want, you want to have a sense of uh, strength going on and keep your neck soft but in, in control. You've got the base coming at you like this. Um, a lot of your energy coming down can come from the top of the, your, uh, the fingerboard as opposed to squeezing. We talked about that a little earlier. So you've got energy coming down with your fingers. And in order to make that really connect, you're pushing the strings down with your fingers. You're going to feel that the bass is going to sort of push towards your body a little bit. And that's a good thing. You're sort of using your body as a resistance. And that's going to give you some more energy to um, actually get the notes out that you want to get out without the buzzing sound. So, you know, you want to be able to... Um, maintain a good posture through this and so that when you're doing faster passages down the road um, your body is supportive behind that so that's another thing you want to also be able to be thinking about bending slightly at the torso the base is when you do this naturally what happens is the base sort of comes behind you and this is a good thing for you to remember that kind of position it's okay that the neck the fingerboard is kind of disappears sort of behind your head. That's, that's a very natural thing. And as, as you develop your knowledge of the fingerboard, you won't need to be looking at it. So it'll, this will actually um, enhance your playing. So you're bending a little bit at the torso, but you wanna still maintain a good posture.